Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're jumping back in here to Sim Airport, and we're going to be, I mean, obviously, we're going to be expanding our airport today, and I think what we're going to be doing, so I've been trying to figure out what I want to do next, and from kind of looking through everything, here's what I've deduced, de decided, thought, anyway, Here's what we're going to be doing. So what what I looked at is, is that I was looking at, I was thinking in our last episode, I talked about hiring the admin staff and doing, you know, the CFO and all those, uh, all those things. So the reason you need those are to do all the research and development in here. And so we can see that if I hire, you know, I get gate control allows you to configure gate related operations. Um, excuse me, the advanced security, you know, all these things that I think probably eventually are necessary. Uh, it also allows you to do some of your um, government grants. But the the issue that like I, I face is is that we start losing money when we do that. So I think what we need to do is just expand our airport and get in all those profits before we start doing like these long term things of a bunch of research and all that other stuff. So I think what we're going to be doing today is going back away from deciding to put in the offices and all that stuff to do all that research because all those people cost a lot of money. And it's basically we need more flights to be able to pay for having a COO, CFO, and all those, all those folks. So having said all that... Um, we're going to be expanding our terminal for flights and not for like logistics is what I'm, what I'm saying here. So I think what we're going to do is one, let's unpause. We should have an airplane. I hear it coming in right now. So what I'm looking at is that this airplane got here at like 7:30. So like when we look at the flight management, this is this is Aerostar 9865. So 9865 got here at 7:30. The other plane left at 7 a.m. So I think we can change this up a little bit, and because I think we can get more flights in per stand. So it got here at 7.30. You can see all the passengers are going on. And it is out of here at 8.15. So I think we can get out 45 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each flight an hour. And so I'm going to say, okay, well, this, this guy is one hour. This guy is an hour. An hour. And what this will do, this will take effect the next day. And if this works, that means we can basically double our flights per ramp or per stand. I don't know if I can do... Yeah, there we go. So all that will take effect tomorrow. But in the meantime, uh, we do have some stuff over here. So I'm going to sell that and that and that and that. And when we look at our government grants here, um, we did our basic airport. So we need to – I'm going to accept this one. So I need two more. I need to build two ticketing kiosks and three normal or XL flight displays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually dismantle this one and this one. And then I'm going to fire two people. 
because we don't need all four of them now. Actually going to need another one, but we're firing two of them for right now. Save us a little bit of money, because then we're going to build two ticketing kiosk. Ticket. Ticketing kiosk. And then we need our flight displays. I'm building, f I know it only called for, you know, like two of them or something like that, but I'm wanting to build four of them. So we just got another $100,000 on our government grant. So our basic airport is done. Um, we're going to do, accept this one. So we need two jan we need to hire another janitor and place six more bins. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's get our next janitor in here. And so what is it? Nope. Let's come over here, close that. Let's get our bins. Garbage bins. Okay, there's another 12000 on our government grant. So we got that one. And then the next level here is a kitchen and cafe. Um, airline services, one rep to each to each to three airlines. So we need three offices. Investments, this uh, CFO stuff, we don't want to do that. Uh, CTO, which again, we don't want to do that right now. And a CFO. Yeah, so basically we're to the passenger experience part. So we might be able to get those three done. Uh, which involves a kitchen and cafe and passenger satisfaction to 75%. So... I think we should start off with one going to our operations control panel and up this a little bit. And we'll see how much the airlines dislike that. And if they dislike it a lot, then we'll change it. But I think we need to help ourselves make more money is what I'm saying. So in this case, we need to add in we're going to go over here and we're going to do a stand. Nope, it is a gay. What is this thing? Objects. We're going to do a uh, aircraft gate, which is 20,000. And they can't be right next to each other. So put that guy in there. And then we have to put down a foundation to accommodate that. So. That's 133 cheese. Let's get it put in. Let's just get her going. Spend money to make money? I think that's what we need to do. So we're going to spend some money to make some money. And we can sell that ticketing desk. And we can sell that ticketing desk. And let's come in here and dismantle that wall. I think I got to move that bin. Oh yeah, it was our, it was good anyway. Uh, ben. Right there. We'll put it back. Uh, now we need door. Sliding door? I think we went with the small one, didn't we? 
Yeah, or whatever this size is, medium. Okay. Carpet. We're going with the green carpet, so let's get the green carpet in. Do we have any plants? Oh, we do. We have decorative bushes. Because I was thinking maybe we need to put in... Like, what does that look like? How much is that? 500 bucks? Goodness. I was outdoors. These are indoors. So, you know, we could put them right there at the end. Okay. So now we need a gate agent, which we kind of put right in front of the door, didn't we? Yes? Yes. And I don't think I can clone stuff in this, so actually, that's fine. Uh, we need... I needed to sneeze. We need seating. Which I did as... This? Oops. Rocco was in the other room yawning just now. Rocco the golden doodle. Okay. Got some seating in. So I think what that allows us to do is to possibly put in... Um, it allows us to possibly put in more, we're getting to the end of the day, so let's slow that down. We could put in a kitchen and cafe, like in the middle here. Also, we need bathrooms, so I think we need to gather up some cashola, expand over here to put in a bathroom and stuff, and I think what I might do is put like any offices and stuff like that down below. Uh, let's also get windows going. Cause everybody, I don't know about you, but I love to be able to look outside. I don't fly very often, but I love to be able to look outside when I'm at the airport and watch the airplanes. You know what I mean? Like I haven't flown in a while, but let's check out our flight management. So let's pause up right now for our flight management so we don't get to the next day we want small stuff um so i'm going to choose aero time because they have a 53 percent rating we'll probably do aero time and pacific airlines here so i see they have some early morning or some am flights and these are all small so i'm going to do all of these for them CRJ 900. Okay, so that's 75 passengers. The 737 holds 140. And we can't do a 707 because that's a large gate. Minimum runway length. Oh, okay. Minimum runway length for that is 150. How long is our runway? Does it tell us? 120. Okay, so for large aircraft, you need at least a 150, so we'll have to expand our airport. So we're stuck with small gates for right now, which is fine. Um, let's go back to our flight management. Go back to small. Again, we're going to go to aero time. And so they have a 737, and these only hold 90 passengers. I think we want to do... To get to maximize, when I was thinking about this earlier, I was like, we need to maximize how many passengers we get into the airport. And so I think the 737 flights, 
or the ones that we want to do. So let's get that, put it in down here, and then shrink it down to an hour. And let's go back in here to this. Small flight. Did I break something? I think I'm going to put it out here. I'm going to slap this baby out here. I was like, what have I done wrong? I haven't actually done anything wrong. I have to build the air traffic control tower. Okay. Okay, so they've got Beechcraft and Airbus A320s, which is 150. We're not going to want to do the Beechcraft, but we'll take the A320s. So let's get this one. This one and this one. And we're going to hit pause again real fast. So let's get this guy in here. And we're actually going to set it to like there. We're going to see if this works. So can I move him up to here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to see if these work. If it doesn't work, then uh, I will figure it out. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's try this one. What do we got for... Okay, we don't want any of these because those aren't enough passengers for us. What about here? This is an A320, so we can take both of those... like this and then shrink it down and go like this so what I'm doing is, is that I'm like overbooking the middle here or the first one and if it doesn't work I can move them down like I can expand it out to an hour and then move them or two hours and then move them down to the next um, to gate B okay this okay we didn't want those um, Union Air. We do have an A320 from Union Air, so let's accept that flight. And this will be the last one for PM for right now. Um, Pacific Airlines, we have an early morning, which is a Beechcraft 19 Hundo. Oh, they don't have any A320s, so we won't do that. Pacific. I think that's the one we were just looking at. An arrow time. We might have to take one of these CRJs. That's 75 or 90. We don't have anything else that is AM or afternoon morning or afternoon okay 
Again, we don't want those guys. This was an E195. So that's 90 passengers. Okay, well, we'll take this one. And we'll put it here. And then we need one more. That's a PM. We don't want the PM. DBQ 400. I assume is... CRJ9. So that must be the Dash 8. Must be the DBQ 400. That's a Beechcraft. All right, so we have one slot there and one slot there. So we'll take the. Take this one and this one. And this one. And hopefully it works. Be oh, yeah, we should be fine. I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to see how busy this guy gets. So we should know here in a couple, uh, just a couple minutes, because it's 300 or 300, three o'clock ish is when people should start filing in. So we're going to see how busy this stuff gets. Um, I'm probably going to move this ticketing guy over some. We'll, we'll eventually need to expand this ticketing area. We definitely will need to expand that ticketing area. It's funny how they come in at like three two fifty three a.m. for their six a.m. flight. <laughs> yeah, I think a definite expansion of our ticketing area will be necessary. Just watching these things. And it's raining. Okay, 5 a.m. Plane should be here about 6. Sometimes they show up early. Yeah, see, they're both here. Oh, I, you know what I think we need to do is let's get a screenshot of that. Okay, so they were here early. They should be out of here by 7. That guy is gone. That guy is gone. So then the next airplane should be coming in for this ramp. Fairly soon. So he's got to get in and get out in an hour. Oh, he's late. Oh, it probably doesn't take effect until tomorrow. So he was in at like 7.30 and out by 8.30. Okay. I love it that it does ATC, air traffic control, during the middle of, like you can hear the air traffic control from there. Okay, so... We've expanded this part. So let's look at our government grants and passenger experience. So we need to have a functional kitchen and a cafe. So let's get 
Let's start with that. Let's see what our cafe needs. Uh, five by five. Set up a space for people to purchase food and sit down and eat. Let them put their money where their mouths are. Ooh. Um, I think we ought to put it, you know, like over here. So what I'm thinking is, is that, let's see how much this foundation will cost us to do. So that would be, the inside usage of that would be seven. So if we went to there, we would have an eight by 12 found, okay, let's, let's send it. We'll build the cafe first. And then we will put in the, um, make sure we get the cafe set up. So what we can do here is because we're doing this, I'll close that so I don't actually, we're going to hit the, when we select, when we, we're going to get an upfront payment of 12,000 and then a reward of 18,000, which isn't that much considering what we're putting into this. So that's only what, 30,000? You know, it cost us more than that to build the foundation. But hopefully, you know, we're going to make the profits from the cafe. So that should help. Okay. So what is what size does our kitchen need to be? Kitchen. Oh, we also need bathrooms. Shoot, how big does a bathroom have to be? We definitely need bathrooms. We may put bathrooms just in the middle here. Um Okay, let's see. Kitchen. Kitchen is a four by four. Fully enclosed with a door. So if we did a four by eight, we can do this. And then we would do a cafe, which would be this. Yeah, we're fine here. So that we're good on that. Um, let's put in a wall and a door, which I think we could do a staff door. Well, well, we'll find out. And here we're going to put in. All right. Let's see what happens here. Get the fast forward action. Also, we need to put in, yeah, well, we'll get that. So, Okay, that's good. Close that. So that is good. We need a cash register. So let's get a cash register. Register. Cash register. And I'm going to put that here. such okay so then we need i'm gonna see if i if it's cafe all right so we need a ca cafe table and food drink coffee so coffee coffee kiosk is like out here, right? Yeah. 
coffee maker. So I'm going to put a coffee maker here and a coffee maker here. And then we need a drink machine. Drink machine. One here and one here. Food cooler or food warmer. Food. Um, sure. Cafe table. So does it need just tables? And carpet. And then we're going to put, I'm going to change up the carpet now. We're, we're sending the whole green. We're going whole green on this. All right, let's fast forward. Oh, look, there we go. Not playing. Bye. So then we need to get one retail worker and one chef. Oh, we need chairs. Okay. So... Cafe chair. Okay. All right, so for the kitchen, kitchen, we need a hot plate. Uh, kitchen sink. Put the kitchen sink right here. Refrigerator. Refrigerator here. Refrigerator here. Pizza oven. Two pizza ovens. Hot plate, hot plate, and kitchen storage. So I think that is it. Oh, let's put that in there. Let's send that. Deliveries happen at midnight. Is there a way for me to get a delivery early? Runways, fuel service. Uh, we need a fuel tank hang hangar and fuel depot. Yeah, we don't need that right now. So I think we have to wait until midnight to get a food delivery. So, well, let's hit that fast forward button.
Uh, we'll, okay, I'll keep looking here, but I don't think there's a way for me to get... Like a, a an early delivery. Oh, so we did get that. Five stores, two first class lounges, and a, a passenger satisfaction at eighty percent. So while we're thinking about this, while we're here, um, let's put in some walls. So if we go one, two, um, what I was thinking was one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. This might be too small. Because I think the toilets are going to have to be bigger than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what we'll do is cancel. If I just hit delete, does that do it? No. I actually have to cancel and cancel. So I think what I'm going to have to do is put the put them somewhere else. But I think I can also put in... When I'm thinking about it here, can I do a, let's do food. What would that be under objects, cafe, retail? Where does the candy display go? Store zone. Okay, so we need stores for that. So a coffee kiosk. I wonder if that counts as... Like, how big is this? Okay. So I could put one, like, right here. So one, two, th back three. Two, three. So, like, I could probably put a coffee kiosk so say we did a so let's do kiosk so we have sushi snack health food dessert and coffee do we have a bar we do have bars So they could technically get their drinks from the bar. Kiosk. So if we did a coffee kiosk, let's do this. Let's put a coffee kiosk here. And a... You know what we're going to do? Well, let's look at it and see what we have for objects and say we did retail... So these are all, I could do a pizza joint, because we do have pizza ovens. Okay, let's do that. And then, oh, while we're thinking of that, let's hire two more retail workers, because they will need to have those.
Now that's still a sign, and that's a sign. Okay, so we should be good there. And we may have to hire another cook, but I think we'll be fine. So we got a pizza joint, and we need to put in some bins for this stuff. So let's get some bins in around here. Bin. Hit the wrong button. I'm going to put one in here. I'm going to put one here, one here, because, you know, people are pigs. One there. All right. I like it. So let's see what happens. We are at 930. So we're getting to the next day. We'll see what happens. Okay. Come on. Uh, also going to need some flight displays in here. Oh, you know what we could do? Like, I was just thinking about it. Let's put in a kiosk, a flight kiosk. Let's put in a couple flight kiosks right there. And flight displays. And they were like right here and right here. Because, hey, you need flight displays. You know what I mean? So let's see what happens here at the end of this day. Let's get all this stuff in. Okay, we got our passengers coming in. And this is going to determine if we can actually get um, all those flights in. So we see how we have all those flights. So this is going to determine if we can get all those in there. And I, also, I wanted to get in before any of this stuff takes off. Let's do, I think there were some tools that you can put down. And I think those go in, is there a maintenance thing, though? There is a maintenance thing. It has to be five by five. What's this? Five by five. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down. Then we're gonna go tools. And we're gonna put in a, I don't know, some of them. Must be Snapple and they're a thousand each. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so now we have at least some... And I don't think you have to have higher maintenance workers, do you? I think the workman double is maintenance workers. All right, so we got all the passengers coming in. We are making money on the cafes and whatnots. Oh, goodness. We might have to put in more. We might have to get more than one uh, <laughs> ticket counter in there. Uh, register. Cash register. And that means we need to hire one more retail worker. I do have to say that at least the staff management is a little bit more simpler than some of the other staff management things I've had to do where, I, I you know, like in Planet Zoo or Planet Coaster, those staff managements are actually pretty difficult. So we definitely need to expand our ticketing options over here, as you can see. Um, ticket, ticketing desk, definitely need to expand our ticketing options.
I need we need to hire one more staff member. Okay, that plane's out, so we should get our next one coming in about... Yep, there we go. That one is in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we just got super busy. Look at this. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Definitely are going to have to um, expand our ticketing area. Ticket expansion is going to be our next order of business. Look at that. I think we're work I think it's working. So they should be out of here. Like this is the nine o'clock flight. Scheduled departure at nine. So we're gonna see if he gets out of here at nine. Well, a little bit over. So, departure at 10. It's going to be very close on all these, but I think it's going to work. Out of here at 10. There we go. Let's go. Okay, so now what I'm thinking is flight management. And let's get our S's. And let's start scheduling some of these. I think we're just going to have to take what we can get. So, let's go over here. I don't want to do those first. We're, we're going to see what we have for all of the... Okay, so I need to check these. I think we're just going to have to take what we can get at this point. You know what I mean? Like, let's get... We need... One, two, three, four, five... Five AMs. So if we took all four of the AMs from here, even though they're, you know, night with the 19 passengers on those. Are these all beach craft are these all the beach craft. Yeah, and then we don't want the 19. We'll take the dash 8s, which are 50 passengers. I would rather have the Airbus, but Okay, let's be CRJs. We can take the CRJs, which are... Those are 75. These are 19. 50. 19 and 50. So we'll take the CRJs. Take both of those. And put that one here. And I want to put this guy... I feel like I'm taking a lot of their flights. I guess it doesn't matter if they're right next to each other. I don't know. I don't run an airport. Uh, the Beechcraft is 19, so I'm going to try to avoid that one. Dash 8 is 50. CRJ is 75, so I'm going to take the CRJ... Dash 8 is 50. Do we have any other CRJs or anything like that? Be so, okay, so we can get some Dash 8s. So let's do this one, this one, and this one. Let's get those three in here. We're just lining them up, dude. Okay. Because we're wanting the dash eights. So let's grab that dash eight and that dash eight. And we can do. So we need one morning flight still. We'll grab that dash eight. So 
So we pretty much have all of the afternoon flights open. Those are beach crafts. Beach craft. We have three evening flights open. Take that dash eight. And that one. I'm just breaking up the one. <laughs> okay, so we got all of those. Um, I guess we'll take these two. I wonder if I could get them in and out within like 45 minutes. Because there's only like 15 passengers. Forty-five. Oh no, it has to be, I think, a minimum of fifty. Okay. Uh, let's grab a couple more of these. I don't know if it'll make a difference, you know what I mean? Uh, let's grab two more, because I think I can get two more in there at least. Okay, I think, yeah, I was going to say I can get one more in here. There we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got like one extra flight in there. And we need one more of these. So we'll throw that guy on here and put him. Close that. And put him down here. leave them like that so there you go all that will take effect tomorrow let's see is do we have any financial things like where we can see like finances um, credit report airport value cash we got three hundred twenty four thousand um, yeah, so we need to get a CFO to get all of that. And I think we're going to just, like I said, I think we're going to wait on that. As long as I feel like we're making money, we should be good to go. But we're going to see how the crazy schedule goes. And hopefully I don't have to cancel too many flights. Um, at the very least, like what I could do is just expand it, you know, expand out a little bit for the next episode and add in another, another ramp. So we're going to see if the... Our flights work tomorrow, and if they do, then I think we'll be able to start building. Like we're still, you know, three hundred twenty-four thousand, um, which we can come over here and we can actually sell some of this stuff. So get a little bit of our money back right here, and I think there's, excuse me, dumpsters. Put some dumpsters in. That way the trash isn't just sitting there. You know what I'm saying? There we go. And so order of business for the next episode will be, again, still expanding our everything. Um, working on government grants. So what we're going to be trying for is five stores, two first-class lounges, and where our passenger satisfaction is already up. So I think we're doing we're doing fairly well here, and 
if we have issues with our flight schedule, our flight management here, the what we can do is we can just expand down to the next gates. So add in another gate and then move some of those uh, flights down to that gate. So I think that's our order of business. We'll see how things go in the next episode. And expansion, 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 expansion. And we need to probably start doing some decoration at some point. So I'm going to leave the windows out of everything over here. But order of business, ticketing will be up first. Well, it'll be up second after we see how all of our flights go for the next episode. But, hey, this is coming along really well. We're not ex not expanding uh, at a rapid rate, but we're expanding enough to get to, like, the next part. And eventually, eventually we have all of this to expand into an airport. So we'll see how that goes. I've never expanded probably beyond, like, this square and we'll see how it goes but hey i appreciate you coming and i appreciate you hanging out and from here in the sim airport until the next episode take care <laughs>